the first non settlers in the Faroe Islands who were the Irish monks in the 6th century. The name Ferriar comes from Norse and means Sheep Island, which uh, was given by Viking Age settlers who arrived in the 9th century. Vikings came to the Faroe Islands in the year 800. These were mainly farmers from Norway and were searching for new land. The Vikings at the Althing, later called Lothing, Lothingje, uh, in the capital Tosha. It's said that uh, the Faroese parliament is one of the oldest functioning parliaments in the world. By the later half of the 12th century, the Faroe Islands eventually became firmly attached to the Kingdom of Norway. Both came under Denmark in 1840, 14th January. Nowadays, the Faroese economy and welfare consists of fish factories and uh, aquaculture, which is sold out uh, to other countries, which consists of 95% of uh, the total income of exported goods. Nowadays, in uh, 2022, approximately 54,000 live in the Faroe Islands. Our island is the southernmost island in the Faroe Islands and approximately 4,700 people live here. The island is divided into seven municipalities. The Faroese Prime Minister is Bar Astein Nilsen. Uh, Bar Astein Nilsen is a politician who was elected Prime Minister in 2019. He uh, used to be a brilliant handball goalkeeper and represented the Faroese national team. Before him, Axel Johansson was a Prime Minister. The current Faroese uh, government consists of both liberal and conservative representatives. There has only been a single woman who has been a Prime Minister of the Faroe Islands. In the years 1992 to 1994, her name was uh, Marta Petersen. One of the biggest ongoing dilemmas in our politics is whether we should remain under the Danish rule as we have for many years or become an independent country.